So a moving charged particle in a magnetic field feels a force described by the equation F is equal to QV cross B. In this equation, F is the force measured in newtons, Q is the charge measured in coulombs, V is the velocity measured in meters per second, and B is the magnetic field strength measured in teslas. Now, as this is a cross product, we can use our right hand rule to work out the direction of the force. Now, there's lots of different versions of the right hand rule, and you can use whichever version you prefer. The version I like to use for these problems is a flat hand like this. The force is out the palm of your hand. How I remember that is that I tend to push things with my palm, and so I apply a force with the palm of my hand. The direction of the magnetic field lines is the direction my fingers are pointing in. How I remember that is I've got lots of fingers and there's usually lots of magnetic field lines. So these are the magnetic field lines. And then my thumb represents the velocity, the direction of the velocity of the particle. Now, if I'm considering a negative particle instead of a positive particle, the force is out the back of my palm instead of out the front of my palm. When you're using the right hand rule, just be really careful that you do use your right hand, not your left hand. So let's use the right hand rule to make a prediction now. What I've got here is a cathode ray tube. So the cathode rays, remember, are just electrons, and they are coming from the cathode here between these parallel plates here and along this way. So they're going from the left side to the right side. Now what I'm going to do in a minute is move a magnetic north pole towards these cathode rays. Before I do that, I want you to make a prediction about which direction the cathode rays are going to move. So let's just think about how we can represent this. The magnetic field lines come out of a north pole. When we show magnetic field lines coming out of a screen or a page, we represent them with dots. When we show magnetic field lines going into a screen or a page, we represent them with crosses. How I remember this is by thinking about shooting an arrow. If an arrow is coming towards us, we see the pointy end of the arrow first. So little dots represent field lines coming towards us. When we shoot an arrow and it's moving away from us, we see the fletched feathers on the back, which form a kind of cross. So magnetic field lines or electric field lines, which are moving away from us or into the screen are represented by crosses. So the magnetic field lines are coming out of the North Pole like this. And I want you to think about now, which direction are the cathode rays going to feel a force?